is Frederico Fernandes and I help to incubate and accelerate startups all over the world. I'm especially attached to the aviation and travel. Most of the things that I speak here on this channel is about that and I don't want you to sell you anything. So, okay, let's go for, for today's uh, video. Um, so what have I uh, saw in Portugal Air Summit? So as you know, if you follow my, my channel, I was in Portugal Air Summit on an amazing experience with startups, Portuguese and Spanish startups. Uh, we had a competition called, an acceleration program called Boost. Um, Portugal Air Summit is an event that exists since 2017. I was there on the first uh, edition in May. I haven't lost any edition. Well, maybe I did. <laughs> I did lose the COVID one, but still I was online. You can also find the video here um, on, on my channel. So Portugal Air Summit has been growing since 2017 and now is a spectacular event. And it's the best event of the peninsula. No doubts about it. Oh, okay, I don't mean that because I'm Portuguese or I know the organization, but it's really the best event in aviation uh, aeronautics um, uh, in the sector um, in Portugal or Spain. I haven't seen a better one. So slowly they are keeping their pace and growth to join the bigger festivals that you all know who they are. Um, the bigger festivals are Farnborough, uh, Le Bourget in France, uh, you have also Dubai Air Show, it is an amazing show, um, you have uh, Singapore Air Show, and then Portugal Air Show is trying to, to, to get in, in the middle of that, and it's doing very well. Um, it's an amazing event composed by Summit, where the most important players are there. Uh, also, they showcase a lot of um, space uh, and defense uh, features. Uh, also, the sector is there in deep discussions and amazing technical demonstrations. Um, also, we have the commercial airlines, we have Civil Aviation Authority, um, Air Traffic Management Control authorities and players all around the world. IATA is there with special labs and, and, and workshops for all this, their areas of activity. So, it's very, very interesting. And of course, for us AvGeeks, we have the, the, the shows that are, well, Amazing, and uh, this year we had a special, uh, special commemoration. It was the first landing of a middle-sized aircraft, uh, a single aerial. It's an Airbus A320, and it's from Sata Aerosaurus. They were the first one to land in that airfield that has been growing with the vision of the municipality. So instead of dedicating themselves forever into the agro business, like olive oil, okay, it's amazing olive oil. Uh, and cork, uh, also we are the best producers of cork in the world, Portugal, um, they fought uh, forward and they stepped forward. So they started to use investment and they started to invest in their aerodrome and it looks like it's a fairy tale. Nowadays uh, the aerodrome become a uh, full runway, landing in Airbus A320. There's a lot of hangars there with a lot of activities from drones, academies, um, to maintenance uh, and to other uh, other parts of the industry also. Um, academies, uh, Portugal academies, find there a very good uh, ecosystem to grow because the runway is very well equipped, very well invested with ILS approach and they can fly all the time. It's one of the places in Europe where there's more available um, days to fly if you are an a pilot instructor or if you are sending their, their students. Seven Air is a company to remember, it's there uh, stationized. Um, they are now uh, the biggest in Europe after G uh, acquiring L3 uh, installations in Ponte do Sor. So as you can see there's a lot of um, ingredients around the ecosystem and around Portugal or Summit that uh, happens in Ponte do Sor a little bit in the middle of Portugal on our way back to, to, to Spain. It's an amazing place with Alentejo landscape, you know, uh, awakening our, our uh, emotions and also the food and the people. It's amazing. About the next edition that you should not last uh, uh, miss. It will be in October, I believe. The, they didn't announce it yet. This is a municipality of Pontesor organization together with the Portuguese specialized event company in aviation called The Race, which I give my congratulations. What an amazing event. 
uh, they've been doing since the beginning. They are also very uh, expertise in, in aviation events. They have pilots in their uh, founding team. So you can imagine how things are pilot oriented, aviation oriented, and very, very methodical and professional. So great shows, great summits, great content, great, con great people to meet. And there was one thing missing, right? This acceleration of new businesses. So this is what I went there. Um, so we, together with my team, uh, with Olga and Mia, uh, we created um, a platform where startups could apply. Uh, we talked with them, we saw the projects, and then we uh, selected finalists that we worked on the event until they were ready enough. There was a crash course in, I would say, 24 to 48 hours until they went to stage with us. Uh, we couldn't choose one winner because they were one was on the incubation phase and one was on the acceleration phase. One day I will make a video about this because I know most of us, um, we, I might think that most of us that or most of you guys that are listening to this video are a little bit concerned, but sometimes entrepreneur when they put their head on developing something, sometimes they need some awareness and some perception where they are. And it's very important for you guys to know if you are on the incubation side or on the acceleration side. Even it's very important for you guys to know if you are just having an idea. And that is more complex. So because if you have just an idea, so you didn't incubate it, you didn't validate it with the market, blah, 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 it will be much more difficult for you on the doubt that stage to get money from an investor. Nevertheless, if you're in Europe, you might get money from a grant. So it's important for you to know, to have that awareness. Where am I? In which phase am I? Um, so this, this is what happened in, in Boost on Portugal Air Summit. We found two amazing startups that they literally um, highlighted themselves from the others, but they were in two different stages. So it was very kind of unfair to do with the, uh, to, to nominate a winner without having that in consideration. So we all, we all agreed that we should take two winners to stage. So we had one winner that had a project that is an incubation phase. So they had seed money already, good concept. Um, I will make a video about that later on. And the other one was an acceleration phase, over 2 million euros in grants for R&D, 1 million revenue, so clearly different um, stages different needs in terms of investment and different needs in terms of uh, development, uh, commercial development. So we, we brought those two to stage, um, very proud of them, they did an amazing job. Uh, now me uh, and Olga, we are pushing contacts uh, with uh, several companies and several investors. And um, yeah, that's it. That's uh, the wrap up of Portugal Air Summit 2022. Amazing event, put it in your agenda. Okay, it's, um, it's really, really worthwhile. I hope to see you there in 2023, uh, next year. And um, that's it, guys. Uh, you know, follow me. And uh, if you want to hear about uh, stories about incubation or acceleration, or if you are thinking about bringing your own business to, to the market, if you are an entrepreneur, um, just follow my channel for some tips. I don't promise that I will be here every day, but definitely, uh, I will share some content because I cannot reach everybody. I'll try to reach everybody with my team, but nevertheless, it's impossible. And I hope that some of the content that you're taking here either will fill you up with motivation or um, would make you feel that it's possible to get there because it is. See you soon. Bye-bye.